knows that creating change is not comfortable? Here's, here's one of the challenges, right? We want to produce amazing results, but we don't want to do amazing things. A lot of people just don't want to get uncomfortable. And the very thing that we avoid, which is getting uncomfortable quite often, is the very thing that changes us, because where there's discomfort, there's lessons. live in one of the most educated and enlightened cultures and societies in the world, but we're also one of the most dysfunctional. As an exercise physiologist, this is what I see. More information, education and inspiration about diet, about lifestyle, about health, about exercise, about all that stuff. More of that than ever. What else do we have? More obesity. <coughs> Put up your hand if you've ever accidentally eaten a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Put up your hand if you've ever accidentally had five beers. <laughs> Knowing what to do doesn't change anything. Consistently and diligently and passionately applying what we know and getting uncomfortable and choosing to be the person who finishes the job, that's where transformation lives. What do you reckon the number one excuse that I hear is for not doing stuff? I don't have enough time. Now, let me tell you, time's an issue, but it's not the reason. How many hours are there in a week? Any maths geeks? 168, math geek. <laughs> Research tells us that as little as four times 30 minute sessions a week of exercise won't get you in the Olympic team, but it will create physical shift within a week. One week. You'll start to see some kind of physical shift within seven days doing four times 30 minutes a week. Now, in a country where the number one reason that people give for not exercising is I don't have enough time, we go two hours into 168 as a percentage is 1.19% of our time. Now, in a country where the, the, the number one excuse is time, the average Australian watches how much TV? 22 hours on average. Not you, of course, but someone you know. <laughs> See, what's the difference between a habit and motivation? Put up your hand if you cleaned your teeth this morning. Thank God. A few stinky people up the back. Put up your hand if you had a motivational issue with the teeth cleaning process. <laughs> did anyone get in? Did anyone walk into the bathroom and go, oh, God. Oh, pick up your toothbrush and go, ah, oh, no, stuff that I'll start with, so. <laughs> See, we don't walk in the bathroom and go, will I, won't I, or should I, or shouldn't I, do we? How come? It's a habit. It's a habit. When we do certain things, when we make certain decisions, embrace certain behaviours and take certain action and persevere and be the person that finds a way rather than an excuse, we start to create real shift in our world.